I hope you're well and I hope you're looking after yourself. Well, there seems to be a storm coming in, even though we have had a gorgeous week of weather, it has been like the summer all over again. excited because I spotted my very first cuckoo which was so exciting. It was a juvenile cuckoo in the trees and Zephyr's back to her old self again. So it's just been a really lovely week but let me catch you up with what's happened and where we have been. Right so the last stretch of water that we wanted to see before we made our way back to the middle level navigation was the relief channel and we were keen to moor up and explore down on market so off we went. After the devastating North Sea floods in 1953 improvements were made to prevent another catastrophe like that happening so the relief channel was cut in 1960. It runs parallel to the tidal ooze dead straight for 10 and a half miles. In 2001 a lock was added so boaters like me could use the channel to explore the small Fenland town of Downham Market. So Alice Grace is waiting to go in the relief channel lock but the box with all the mechanics in, the electronic box that you operate the lock with, it says lock closed. Telephone number here, an EA telephone number, I'm just going to give it a ring. So due to mechanical issues the lock was closed until further notice. Here we are arriving at the Denver Sluice. On the far left you see the Big Eye it's called, which is just used for commercial vessels. And then in the middle are the Little Eyes, which are opened at low tide to let the River Great Ooze flow out to the sea. And at high tide are closed. And here we are waiting just outside the navigation lock. Whilst waiting for high tide I decided to have a look at that relief channel so I could imagine what could have been. But whilst I was doing that I could hear tiny chirruping noises like young birds and I looked around me and I could tell that it definitely wasn't coming from the swans and the cygnets and neither was it coming from the Egyptian geese. So I looked behind me at A.G. Wright's magnificent sluice gate and right up in the corner I caught sight of something else. Yes, it's just lovely to see those house martins and what incredible birds. I mean, they've probably had two or three broods this year and literally in a week or so they're going to be off flying all the way back to Africa. Um, incredible. But then we had to do uh, an incredible journey next because we had to go on the tidal stretch through Denver Lock and into Salter's Load. Now, Salter's Load, before you go into the lock, when you're making that turn, into the lock from that direction there are tires all along the side and that is for a good reason the turn is tricky and boats often make knocks into the side so let's see how we got on with our tidal adventure into the salter's load
Yeah, so the lock keeper at Salter's Load scored us zero out of ten. Now, I heard him say that. He didn't know I heard him say that, but he definitely scored us zero out of ten, cheeky. But then we were back on the middle levels, and one of the places that I wanted to visit, and Jill had mentioned this, was Welney Wetland Centre, because that's very near to where I was at the time. And also, it links to the Denver Sluice, because when the tides are very high, or if there has been a lot of rain, then the um, water is pushed over to Welney, and um, that is sacrificed, that bit of land, and turns into a reservoir temporarily until the water levels drop again. So I really wanted to go and see the Welney Wetland Centre and also to see the amazing work that the RSPB do in conserving and looking after our bird and wildlife. Welney Wetland Centre is one of nine wildfowl and wetland trust sites in the UK. They were set up by Peter Scott, the son of Antarctic explorer Captain Scott, who in his dying letter urged Peter's mother to make the boy interested in natural history. Well, I think he'd be really proud of what his son achieved. Wetlands provide essential protection against climate change, floods, droughts and pollution, as well as being vital for our health and well-being. There are so many exciting projects across these centres, with the reintroduction of crane and the protection of other threatened species, that they are well worth a visit. And as I made my way out of this amazing wetland centre, there in front of me on the footpath was a juvenile green woodpecker. So now it's the time for you to sit back, relax and enjoy a mindful cruise. And this is where we left Salter's Load Lock and we cruised onto the middle level navigation. Look after yourself, take care and please come and join me next week. Bye!
little eyes closed on their silty bed, a blankety tide pulled up to its head, a steely mouth opened revealing its throat, then slowly devoured the narrow boat. This beast on the water holds back the sea, sometimes it pushes it on to Welney, where Godwit and Ruff probe as they wade, alive in the wetlands their Denver beast made. But what is a beast but a good thing to be, if your power's protecting the land from the sea, and sheltering the richness of martins at nest, while letting the river drain out of your chest? Do your beautiful smile, that's it. Do your beautiful smile, yeah. Do your beautiful smile, yeah good girl.